everyone, it's Beth from Sweet Arts Hair. Welcome back to another tutorial. Uh, we're still on lockdown in the UK. I don't know if you guys are. Um, luckily, my husband's home for a few days from work, so he's my new videographer. Uh, me and Bailey today are going to be showing you an updo, but it's like not your average oh, messy bun little braid updo. It's like an updo for like a more funky person, somebody that wants to go to a wedding or a big occasion but doesn't want like your average, you know, pinned curls. So, are you ready, boo? Yeah. Come on then, let's get started. Okay, so to start this style, what we're gonna do is we're gonna be gathering the hair into the center of the head. However, instead of just putting elastics or bobbles and ponytails all the way down, we're gonna do something a bit different today and I'll tell you why we're doing this um, as we're sort of going through. So, we're gonna basically be just putting a dead basic knot in the hair. When I say like a knot, like you'll scoop the hair up. You're gonna break that hair into two and literally like you tie a lace. So flicking that one forward, through it comes and knotting it like that, okay? And then what we're gonna do is take like a long hair grip and just slide it through there to hold that into place. So literally guys, just take a grip, slide it through the center of that knot. You're not actually gonna see this knot when we do the style, so don't worry if you can kind of see that grip a little bit. Just slide it through that center and it just holds that knot into place. And then you're gonna take a next section. So I'm choosing guys to bring my sections up like a bit of a mohawk, but you can bring them more this way if you want the style to be a little bit softer, but I want this style for Bailey to be a little bit edgy. So I'll just move that one so you can see. So can you see, instead of going like that with my section, I'm going whoop, up, same on the other side. And again, you're gonna tie that knot. So I'm kind of choosing, guys, not to make this too perfect. So Woo! Are you okay, boo? <laughs> Got a bit of hay fever today. So, <laughs> oh, bless you. Are we, all, are we all done? Are you okay? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> well, carry on. Okay. This is what it's like, guys, when you're working with live models. You know, sometimes they have a bit of a sneezing fit, but that's okay. So I'm choosing not to use um, sort of like a wax spray, my comb. I'm just using my fingers to drag this hair up. I want it all not to look too sort of perfect. So again, splitting this hair into two. One comes underneath, comes around, flicks forward exactly like you're tying your lace. Tighten that up and then pop your um, grips through there just to hold it into place. Do you know how rare it is to find someone like you? I'm just going to pin them out the way. And then I want you to just carry on this technique all the way down the head. Fairly big sections I've decided to take. I haven't tried it taking little sections, but by all means give it a go. Send me a picture to um, Instagram to show me. Um, but yeah, I'm choosing to take fairly big sections. Okay, so last one, I'm not bringing this down too low, I kind of want it to sit up slightly from the nape of the neck. When I was practicing it, it definitely looked a bit prettier just coming up from the nape. So on the last one, as you tie, just kind of wiggle it up a little bit. Okay guys, so we're gonna release this hair down, like so, pushing in these grips where I can see them. And this is what we're left with. Now, you might ask, why have we bothered to do all these knots when I could have just done ponytails? But now we're gonna start pinning this hair. And because the hair has been knotted, it's already pointing this way. So when we start folding it and pinning it, it's gonna give such an interesting look to the style than just a plain ponytail being pinned. 
Okay, so we're going to take this first side here. I think I might just split it in two, just to give me a bit more hair to work with afterwards. And I'm just going to kind of pull this around to the front here and pin that first section. And we're going to take another section of hair and we're just going to kind of bring it across. Hello, Boo. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> and then just decide where I want that one pinned. I think I'm going to go about here. Now we're going to take this little section. We're not going to leave it there, Boo, don't worry. <laughs> and I'm just going to kind of fold it back again. And we don't want this style to look too structured. We want it to be like... Is it a braid? Is it curls? Like what is happening with it? Coming round to this side now, guys. Now what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to build a bit of height to the style. Using a little bit of hairspray as you go. Now, as this style starts to build, you can just leave sort of random little curls out and you can decide if you want to pin those afterwards. But you'll see, because these sections were being taken sort of from the side and brought round, it just gives a completely different look to if you just did ponytails. And you'll see that sort of more obvious as we go. So you're just going to keep taking your sections, letting them bend and pinning them. I'm also kind of making sure that I'm kind of weaving them inside each other sometimes again so you just can't quite tell where it's all coming from so we've built up quite a bit of height here guys which i really like now around this crown area i've gone wrong before with this style because i haven't created enough volume and it's gone a little bit flat here so what i want you to do is try and keep that volume coming out here and then as we hit about this level we're going to bring that volume back in again it just gives a nicer look to the style at the end Okay guys, so I've got a few more bits to pin here, but I just wanted to show you something. So I'm going to tease this middle section up a little bit bigger in a minute, but I want it to sort of start to taper down towards the neck now. So this curl here, I'm just going to kind of pin like that. I might actually just take a little bit of thickness off it. And we're going to want to just taper this hair coming towards the neck. Okay guys, so I've kind of got the shape now. Can you see why we did those knots? So the hair's kind of really folded. Now what I want you to do is have a look from all angles and just decide what you want to pin, what you want to pull out. Just have a little look now. Okay guys, so that is mine and Bailey's updo for the alternative person. All finished. I think it looks super cute. I'm going to do a spin as I always do. Bailey's going to hold on tight because we nearly had an accident the other day. She never got over it. So hold on tight. You ready to spin, Bill? Let's go. So thanks so much for watching, guys. Hope you guys are staying safe out there. And hopefully the, the lockdown will start to lift soon. Everyone's going to start getting better. Um, but I'm going to continue doing my videos as best I can. So I will see you next week for another video. Bye.